lecture of adult instrumentation in life instrumentation course in life sciences myself srishti siddesh patil i am taking the lecture on fermenter and replica unit from your syllabus unit 3 given by instrumentation course in life sciences today's first topic is fermenter so let's see what is fermenter fermenter is also known as a bio reactor or it is sterilized enclosed vessel which is used for the production of particular product these products are formed by microorganisms this reaction takes place in a closed vessel and that's why it is this reaction is also performed by microorganisms which are living entities that's why it is called as bio reactor in which reactions takes place and the final product is formed with the help of microorganisms microorganisms first starts to grow in that particular vessel and then they form the product which is desired one these metabolites or the products which is formed by microorganism is very important and that's why the demand for the metabolites which are produ produced by microorganism is increasing the fermenters is an vessel depending upon its use it's a uh, depending upon its use its capacity is determined there are three types of fermenter which is used uh, in lab level in scale up level and in industrial level pilot that is also called as a lab scale pilot scale and industrial scale lab scale fermenters are of small quantities they consist of 1 to 15 liters of holding capacity pilot plants are nearly about 150 liters to 1000 liters capacity and industrial scales fermenters are of higher capacity as the product obtained at industrial scale level will be maximum it is also called as bio reactor as the reaction takes place in that vessels many industrially important or commercially important products such as antibiotics enzymes certain beverages such as cold drinks uh, wine uh, wines beer these can be obtained by fermentation process other daily routine daily routine products such as single cell proteins or citric acids certain enzymes that can also be produced with the help of this fermenters now let's see what is ideal properties of fermenter a fermenter should be made of good quality material during the fermentation process acidic ph may be arise or alkaline ph may increase as the process if the sugar is main substrate on which microorganisms are going to attack acids is the end most end product due to continuously release of acids if the acid get <coughs> Or, or the if acid reacts on that walls of that fermenter corrosion takes place and if the corrosion takes place that corrosion is going to interfere in the production process or it may alter the taste or the appearance of end product that's why it is necessary that the quality or the material which you use for the product for the building material of fermenter should be of great quality mostly stainless steel is used as a metal it should give high productivity fermenter should be designed in a such a way that it should give high productivity its constructions its inlet point its outlet point draining out point should be of good quality and which should uh, maintain the growth of microorganism third ideal property is that it should be able to handle the steam sterilization pressure now we are going to sterilize in that as the fermentation process is completely carried out in sterilized condition in sterilized way each and every part of fermenter should be properly sterilized so the sterilization takes place at 121 degree celsius this is the high temperature or the high pressure which is used for sterilization this pressure can should be withstand by metal or the material that is used for the construction of body of that particular fermenter otherwise if uh, this glass material or plastic material is used in anywhere construction points that may become melt that's that if that's why it is necessary that the material which is used should handle handled properly 
नेक्स्ट आइडियल प्रॉपर्टी इज दैट देर शुड बी ऑल कंट्रोल पैरामीटर्स फर्मेंटर विच आर यूज एट इंडस्ट्रियल लेवल आर ऑफ टर्न्स ऑफ कैपेसिटी गैलेंस ऑफ कैपेसिटी दैट्स वाई इट इज नॉट इजी टू हैंडल मैन्युअली दैट्स वाई ऑल द इनलेट पॉइंट आउटलेट पॉइंट ऑल द नॉब्स आर हैंडल्ड बाय मॉनिटर और बाय इट इज हैंडल्ड ऑटोमेटिकली और बाय यूजिंग इंस्ट्रूमेंट सॉरी इट इज हैंडल्ड बाय यूजिंग कॉम्प्यूटर दैट्स वाय इट इज नेसेसरी दैट ऑल द पैरामीटर कंट्रोल शुड बी link to that particular computer such as ph electrode temperature probe it is not feasible to control all the parameters physically that's why man it it should be controlled by monitor last ideal property is that the material used in fermenter should be cheap and could give satisfactory result next about this is the design of fermenter here you can see the basic design of fermenter according to the product which you are going to produce there are various designs of fermenter available but the basic design of fermenter is given here this is the basic there are certain inlet and outlet points as you can see in this slide that is uh, first of all there is anti foams it is inoculation pipe baffles oxygen sensors there is sampling point compressed air inlet acid base steerer is there top plate culture media ph probe temperature probe impellers and cooling jacket and at the bottom there is sterile air line fermentation can be taken place in both manner that is aerobic fermentation you can also produce aerobic, aerobic inoculation and second one also you can see anaerobic fermentation if you want to continue the aerobic fermentation so you, you want to supply continuously sterile air in anaerobic condition the supply of air is not necessary <clears throat> now we are going to see in detail what are the different roles of this different points of fermenter next these are the basic elements and controlling elements fermenter is divided into two parts that is basic elements and controlled elements controlled elements are such elements that are controlled by monitor basic elements are the basic uh, joints or basic body construction parts of this fermenter let's see what is first part that is top plate here you can see that top plate this top plate is the head space of fermenter whenever you are going to produce something in a vessel you cannot fulfill completely fulfill that particular fermenter vessel as you need some space for air gap some space for nutrient addition some checkpoints are there so that three fourth part of that fermenter is fulfilled the empty space which is present on the top of fermenter which is completely kept empty that is called as a top plate here there is small glass slit which is present on the top plate so that you can easily view what is going on in the fermenter next element is inoculation pipe this inoculation pipe is present on the top plate whenever you are going to add some inoculum inoculation of in a inoculation is carried out of many things such as it is also inoculation of microorganism there are some inoculation of nutrients as the fermentation process is batch wise also and continuous also inoculation pipe are attached to that fermenter whenever you are going to start the fermentation microorganism is the key element of that fermentation process so whenever all the sterilized materials are added into that fermenter finally microorganisms are inoculated from the inoculation pipe next element is drive motor this drive motor is present on here this drive motor is going to drive or it is drives the impeller shaft this is the central part which you can see this is the shaft of the impellers and this green color portion you can see that those are impellers the role of that to continuously sterilize continuously the shaking of media which is present in that fermenter is required when the media when you keep the media stand still or as it is 
certain nutrients starts to settle down microorganisms grow in that fermenter and by forming the pellet like structure not all organisms form the pellet like structures but some organisms are able to form this pellet like structure when the pellet like structure forms the nutrient additions become difficult and all the nutrients cannot come in contact with microorganism so to avoid this and to make each and every nutrient to come in contact with each and every organism it is necessary to continuously steer the media for steering this central shaft and impellers are used impeller is such as device for which a central shaft or central rod is used to which blades are attached this blades continuously rotate according to the given um, rotation speed and they continuously shake the media which is present inside the fermenter for this continuously rotation process motor is needed and that motor is called as the driving motor third no third basic element is steerer now this steerer which helps to steer the media which is present in that fermenter whenever uh, there is any requirement of nutrient which can be added intermediately in sterilized form after addition of that or after if there is a change in ph if there is change in a uh, certain requirements or certain conditions of that particular fermentation process certain things or certain requirements are added into that fermenter that should be properly mixed for that this steerer is attached to the fermenter next basic element is baffles this side square long squares which you can see that that are called as baffles baffles are used to avoid the vortex formation vortex formation means whenever the liquid is filled in a certain container and you continuously start shaking that uh, liquid which is present in that container vortex formation takes place vortex formation means if this is the container this is the liquid which is present in that due to continuously circular motions the liquid forms the v type of shape in that container it means due to continuously rotation the liquid arises from the wall of this fermenter and central point it the liquid goes at the bottom whenever this v type of shape is formed due to continuously higher shaking material once the liquid goes higher in the v shape this liquid can enter into the inoculation pipe in anti foaming agents pipe in acid base pipes clot formation or that can also clog the pipe which are different attachments for the different inlets so to avoid this and to uh, to stop this this baffles are used baffles which are present here this baffles stop the vortex formation means whenever this v type of shape is going to form this baffles rupture this formation that's why liquid which moves in that particular place that the movement of liquid is maintained next which uh, this basic element is you can see here that is sparger it supplies oxygen into the culture media through the perforated plate or perforated tube now as the process is aerobic continuous supply of oxygen is needed now this oxygen supply is given from the bottom of fermenter that is called as sparger sparger is having fine plate at the bottom and there are small holes from which this oxygen really this oxygen is released into that fermenter oxygen in the fermenter is released by the in the form of small bubbles with the help of this central shaft this oxygen bubbles evenly mix in the media and the aerobic conditions are continuously maintained in the fermenter so that our aerobic organisms can continuously get multiply and form their products next point is drain point ha huh. in the middle of fermentation or at the end of fermentation process it is necessary to check whether the product is formed in the proper condition or it is formed in the proper level or not so that it is called as the point where from which it is called uh, it is taken out that is called as sampling point which is present here this sampling point 
from that you can take a small amount of sample out you can taste or you can see whether the particular fermented product is formed in proper amount or not and then you can drain out if the product is formed properly in proper amount you can all drain out that media from the bottom pipe that is also called as harvesting pipe this pipe is all always present at the bottom so that no media or no product should remain in that particular fermenter and last basic element is cooling jacket this cooling jacket is present outside the fermenter see here you can see this is the brown color of cooling jacket this jacket and cooling jacket during the fermentation process temperature may arise or temperature may get lower during this process if the reaction is exothermic the heat can be the heat is increased of that part or the temperature of that particular media gets increased whenever you want to cool that uh, minimize the temperature so cooling jackets are present these cooling jackets are for present in the form of coils or it may be present in plates now whenever you want to decrease the temperature cold water is passed around the fermenter heat exchange takes place and internal temperature of fermenter decreases if you want to increase the temperature of fermenter certain microorganisms requires high temperature for their growth this temperature rate can be maintained by heating jackets on the place of cold water this heat high water, heat water heated water or steam is passed so that temperature of the media gets increase now third year or second type of element is controlling elements which are controlled automatically or by, they are connected to the monitor and they are controlled automatically these are temperature probes probes foam probes ph electrodes oxygen sensors heating pads cold fingers rotameter pressure valves air pumps and peristaltic pumps now let's see one by one temperature probe it monitors the temperature in the vessel here you can see this is the temperature probe and this is the ph probe ph of the media at the start of the fermenter this ph is maintained to the ph requirement of the microorganisms next uh, during the fermentation process this ph can be altered due to the microbial reactions that may be acidic or alkaline so when intermediately this ph range is checked so that microorganisms can grow in continuously manner and no any uh, process can no no any ph change can alter the fermentation process or the growth of microorganisms now once the ph probes that detects the range of ph then you can add either acid or the base according to the need of the ph change second one is temperature probe the change in the probe is detected by the temperature probe so that you can uh, you can apply cooling jacket or heating jacket to increase or decrease the temperature of that fermenter next is oxygen sensor this oxygen sensor senses the presence of oxygen the amount of oxygen present in that particular fermentation media so that no aerobic conditions can be formed after that next is a uh, heating pad cold fingers rotameter rotameter provides the variable air flow into the culture media pressure valve maintains the pressure the pressure inside the fermenter is measured continuously that measure of the ferment uh, that measure of the pressure is done by rotameter pressure valve it maintains the pressure inside the fermenter uh, air pump that supplies the air throughout the medium now uh, this air line from which of parger is used or that is the aeration device from which air is continuously supplied into that fermenter but this air is taken out from the open environment but that environment or that air which is taken from the external environment may contain thousands of microorganism which can act as a contaminant so that the air is proper filtered and this filtered air is pumped by pumping action so that that is called as sterile air line from which this pumped air is taken in in the fermenter this is the small this is the small chart 
one side there is a parts of fermenter and that is function now what we have discussed that is given in short that is impeller is there or that is also called as agitator next is sparger or that is called also called as aerator this may, mode of action of sparger or the main requirement of sparger is to aerate the media that is called as the aerator and impellers continuously agitate or continuously rotate the media which is present in fermenter that's why it is also called as Agitator, third one is baffles, which we have seen to disrupt the vortex formation. <coughs> Fourth one is inlet air filter, which filters the air before it enters the fermenter. Next one is exhaust air filter, trap and prevent contaminants from escaping. Rotameter is there, which measures the flow rate of air or liquid. Next one is pressure gauze, which measures the pressure inside the fermenter. Next one is temperature probe which measure and monitor the change in temperature of the medium during fermentation process. Next one is cooling jacket to maintain the temperature of the medium throughout the process. Temperature probe is going to detect the changes in temperature and cooling jacket is going to maintain the temperature of fermentation process. pH probe measures and monitors pH of fermentation process. Dissolved oxygen probe measures the dissolved oxygen of fermenter. Next one is level probe measures the level of fermentation media. Foam probe detects the presence of foam. Now foam is formed in many cases. During the fermentation process, breakdown of substrate takes place. If the substrate is of a protein material, during the breakdown of protein, foam formation takes place. If the foam formation takes place, this foam starts to float on the top of the fermentation media. Like if this is the fermentation media, here on the top of that this bubble or the foam which is produced this starts to float on this fermentation media once the higher amount of foam takes place proper air supply do not takes place if you want to add acid or bases if you want to add something from inoculation point the proper mixing does not take place as the when you, whatever you are going to add in that fermentation media that all starts to float on that foams which is formed due to the breakdown of proteins to avoid this anti-foaming agents are there this anti-foaming agents do not allow the formation of this foam or they break down the foam this anti-foaming agents includes there are certain oils vegetable oil cod liver oil shark liver oil these are there which do not allow the formation of the foam these are some important parts of fermenter this is uh, 13 one is foam probe which detects the presence of foam 14 one is sampling point to obtain samples during fermentation process that we are going to check whether the particular process is completed or not and last one is wall which regulates and control the flow of liquid and gases the for the for continuation of the pro flow of liquid or gases on and off knob should be there attached to the pipes continuous flow of all the liquids cannot be processed during the fermentation process that's why it is necessary these walls are necessary and this wall should be made of higher quality of plastic or rubber so that it can withstand the pressure of sterilization process and it should not get melt so next we are going to see replica plate technique next point that is also from the third unit of given syllabus of add-on course now what is replica technique and who discovered it replica plate technique was first described by Lederberg and Joshua Lederberg in 1952 they mainly discovered this replica plate technique replica plate technique is also called as a petri plate technique or which you can going to make the replica of exact copy of given plate on which microbial growth is there sometimes some rare organisms or some microorganisms can be grown on this plate now here you can see that if this is the media plate if the culture media is given to the growth of microorganisms certain organisms form 
the growth on that particular med if the media is selective only certain type of organisms can grow on that media and if the media is normal media or basic media most of the types of organism can grow on that media now if you have only one copy of that organism and you want to preserve it or you want to study its requirement basic requirements then you can make the exact copy of that plate and you can study that second replica plate for the study of that particular organism now this replica plate technique is carried out by wooden block technique here you can see that <clears throat> this is the wooden block on which velvet cloth is used and on that this plate is used here you can see that this red color is master plate this white color cloth which you see is velvet cloth and this black color is wooden stand on wooden stand this velvet cloth is firmly attached and on that this plate which is containing organisms on it this plate is inverted on that velvet cloth and then next sterilized empty petri plate is inverted on that and the exact replica of that plate is made now here you can see what is the principle of ferment uh, replica plate technique it is the we are here you are going to make exact copy of master plate there are two plates master plates and replica plate master plates means on which you have previously done the work after the inoculation of any soil sample water sample or by streaking the culture media on that particular plate organism starts to grow on that culture media here or on that plate now here by only by the appearance you cannot recognize that that particular colony is of particular organism only but whenever you want to study that particular colony or whenever you want to separate out certain oxytrophic mutants or whenever you want to separate or distinguish organisms based on their special requirement you can make the exact replica of that organism on different media or also you can use the same media whenever you want to differentiate specific types of organism from that media according to their specific need such uh, that type of particular media is formed and then you can differentiate that type of media on organisms from that media here clothes or stems that act as a micro needle for the transfer of the growth of microorganism velvet cloth has furry nature on its surface microorganism settle down on that fur like nature and then which empty plate which you are going to use as a replica plate on that this microorganism starts uh, settles down and they grow now here you can see the process of replication this is the master plate master plate means this is the first one plate on which the growth of microorganism has taken place this is the sterile velvet on the block the wooden block is there on that wooden block this velvet cloth is pulled by holder this is tightly pulled then you are going to imprint all the colonies now you are going to imprint the colonies from master plate you are going to open the petri plate consists of base and the lid you are going to take the base of the plate on which media and organisms are present this plate is kept inverted on this velvet cloth you are going to gently press this if you are going to, if we will you will press the plate strongly or by the force all the media or agar will touch or break down that's why you are going to gently press the colonies which are present on that particular plate and then remove the plate after that you can take or the any plate if here they have given the example of ampicillin ampicillin is an antibiotic here they are here in this di diagram image they have isolated ampicillin sensitive colonies and here they have used two plates that that lacks ampicillin and contains ampicillin which organisms which are resistant to ampicillin and organisms which are sensitive to this ampicillin here they have isolated now this master plate contains many colonies now this colonies they are going to distribute or they are going to distinguish in the form of ampicillin sensitive colonies and ampicillin non sensitive colonies now 
this media or this master plate which is used that contains normal media or the basic media after replication one first first time this plate which lacks ampicillin that is kept in in inverted position and then it is gently tapped then second after removal of that this contain i'm um, plate containing ampicillin that plate is again kept inverted on this replica plate and then it is gently tapped and the below both plates are incubated after incubation on second day you will see some colonies on that particular plate here you can see that here are two colonies which are absent on that that means that these two colonies are sensitive to ampicillin and these three colonies you can say that those are ampicillin resistant colonies this can also be used in the screening of many types of organism here we are going to see one example of screening of amylase producers amylase is an extracellular enzyme which is used in many processes or this is an important enzyme now we are we want to isolate the organisms which are able to produce this amylase enzyme you can take any common source for the primary screening of amylase producer such you can take soil any soil sample dilution of that soil sample is made and from that 0.1 ml of sample can be spread it on <coughs> master plate so that well isolated colonies can be formed now whenever you are going to take highly concentrated sample complete lawn of microorganisms get formed on that given media we want here isolated colony so that <clears throat> exact replica of that organism can be made then you are going to select the plate which contains isolated colonies this plate contains or the plate is starch agar plate this starch agar plate why you are particularly going to use that because the media starch this clear zone can be observed by the starch hydrolysis process now once the iodine is poured on that particular plate the colony will be killed so before killing the colony by application of iodine you have to make the replica of this plates so that you can compare that particular this colony which is present on replica plate is an amylase producing colony then you can further take this colony for the production of amylase enzyme or any further study of that particular colony now you have to first take the starch agar plates on that starch agar plate you are going to spread the suspension of a soil sample or particular sample which uh, which is given to you after spreading and keep <coughs> incubating the plate at 37 degrees celsius for 24 hours second day so isolated colonies will be observed now you are going to take simple plate for making the replica of that master plate you can take nutrient agar plate for formation of replica here only you have you are going to make exact replica of colony so that you can take any basic need if you are going to differentiate the colonies present on master plate then you can use such type of techniques that is which lack ampicillin which contains ampicillin you are going if you are going to use exotrophic mutant you can particularly add or remove that particular substance or particular components from that media so on second day or this is master plates now let see let's see this example on this diagram primary screening of amylase by using this diagram this master plates consist of starch agar on starch agar second you will see many types of colony not all the colonies are amylase forming there are only some colonies which can form the amylase and some are there which cannot form amylase but nutrients which are present in that that can be utilized by organism so that they have grown on that media <clears throat> on second day uh, after the growth of organism you are going to use wooden block and sterilized velvet cloth this velvet cloth will be hold tight by using this holder next you can take nutrient agar media as you are going to form the replica you can take any type of plate means normally basic plate is used that is nutrient agar plate this nutrient uh, it's six starch agar after starch agar you are going to press here gently so that colonies which are present on this master plate will be transferred on this fur which is present on that velvet cloth after that this nutrient agar plate is kept inverted on this replica unit 
gently it is pressed and then this plate is stored in the incubator so the proper growth of fermented for, uh, for, so, sorry for the proper growth of organisms next on the second day this starch agar plate and nutrient agar plate both are compared for the results it is expected result is that if there are three colonies on the starch agar plate or nutrient agar plates also at exact same location these three colonies should be formed if more than those colonies if more than colonies are present than starch agar then there that might be contamination so that you cannot recognize the proper colony if there are if there is exact replica of starch agar then that is called as the replica after comparison or after observing the exact replica or on nutrient agar then on second day you are going to add iodine on this starch agar due to <coughs> starch degradation the clear zone of uh, clear zone of starch hydrolysis will be observed here so this colony which has ability to produce amylase enzyme you can compare that this particular colony is able to produce amylase enzyme then you can select this particular colony and study for the production of amylase enzyme or you can take this colony for the production of amylase enzyme or you can further study some different biochemical characteristics or particular taste of that organism this is about the replica unit of or, or replication unit thank you